from Madison, Indiana, and it's the county seat for Jefferson County. This is one of the cutest little towns right on the Ohio River you have ever seen. Might be my favorite. There is so much to show you here, I just don't know where to begin, but we're going to try to give you just a little sampling of what you can see in Madison, Indiana. To whet your appetite to come for yourself, right? <laughs> The city of Madison sits right on the Ohio River. This was once a real important spot for trade uh, in Indiana and really the city of Madison was here before Indiana was a state when it was still a territory. There was a big steamboat works here where they built steamboats and everything. You can still see some pylons uh, farther down the road there. but. Look here, I think it's pretty cool because you can see the bridge for the Ohio River and everything. Man, it's just a wonderful, relaxing place to sit. Here in Madison, they have a ton of adorable shops. Here's an antique shop. I'm gonna hand Herky off to Ed and I'm going to go in. Here I go. with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Shirley MacLaine. And it was directed by Vincent Minnelli, and Vincent Minnelli was once married to Judy Garland. And he also did Meet Me in St. Louis. Fun fact, cute theater. Let's take a look. Another famous person, Irene Dunn, lived here and also helped restore a fountain that we're getting ready to show you. Broadway in Maine is the Broadway Fountain and it is gorgeous. This fountain was originally at the Philadelphia Expo in 1886 I believe yeah. and um, what they did is after that the Order of Odd Fellows after the uh, exposition in Philadelphia decided to purchase that fountain and move it here to Madison, Indiana. So what happened was in 1976 for the celebration of the bicentennial of the United States, the city got together and they disassembled the fountain and they recast it in bronze so that it would last a lot longer. So today we were able to sit here, enjoy the sunshine and this beautiful fountain. And their efforts. Yes. So if you sit here and you look down uh, Broadway, you can also see the river. It, Flow, it, the road goes right down into the river, so it's just a beautiful spot. In Madison, we've noticed that they have a lot of wrought iron work around town, not just fences in front of houses, but just all throughout town. of gorgeous homes and we're gonna try to show you just some of them because there's too many to show you them all. One thing we did notice is where we're from in St. Louis we have a lot of shotgun houses. They have even more here. They are so cute. You've got to see them. Okay here behind me is just one of many shotgun houses and the reason we call them a shotgun house is because you can stand in the front door shoot a shotgun and it'll go out the back door
oh my, look how cute this house is. They got this ivy around here. They got a magnolia tree at the side. It's beautiful. Nancy was just taking some pictures here of the side of the house. And I want to show you this thing, what they've done with the space between the two houses. Beautiful. So I find this very unique here in that uh, on in Madison on Main Street what they did was they took an old gas station it kind of looks like a Sinclair station or something and they turned it into the comfort station for the town so this is right on Main and they still have the doors there and everything but the whole inside is just a restroom I'll show you but uh, very unique because a lot of towns will just take and destroy an old gas station or whatever and they have really done a good job here at restoring this and uh, turned it into something useful. Let's go inside. So a minute ago we walked by this Hinkle hamburger stand. It's just a grill. Uh, and a counter on the inside. And I just had a hankering to try one of these hamburgers, so. That's all he's been talking about. So anyway, it looks a little bit like a white castle if you're familiar with those, so. So we're gonna dig into them and uh, see what you think. Here in Madison at the base of the river, the river's right in front of me there and behind me is the James Lanier Mansion. So uh, the one of the things that's interesting about him was that uh, this town, as I said before, that Madison was uh, founded before the state was even a state. It was a territory at that time is influential on the Underground Railroad because Kentucky is just right in front of me, uh, just on the other side of the river. James Lanier was a railroad man, a banker, and a financier. Uh, what he, he only lived in this house seven years, uh, I understand, but uh, one of the things that, uh, the reason the state has preserved this place is, um, he, during the American Civil War, loaned the state of Indiana a million dollars without securities because uh, the state of Indiana was about to go under and was going to have to withdraw from the Civil War because they were flat broke, they didn't have any money. So James Lanier loaned them a million dollars and so in 1926 the state took his house here and made it as, into a memorial for him because uh, his financing saved uh, Indiana and allowed them to continue fighting uh, the American Civil War. So interesting fact and a, just a beautiful house here in Madison. What I want to do is just stop here a minute uh, along the river. The river's right there, town's here, across the street from Brown Memorial Gymnasium is a CCC structure that you just don't find very often. This one is in town and it is the public swimming pool and uh, you can see they had a barracks here and everything in a pool and uh, you know this is still in operation today. It's closed because of COVID and of course it's uh, it's fall here in Indiana so it's a little cold but anyway I think it's a, it's a really cool structure and it's definitely something that you want to see if you're into CCC uh, building. So yeah, cool thing is the pool slopes down towards the middle and uh, it's pretty neat. Let's walk around the front really quick and then we're gonna move on.
this is a spot that's really interesting that I wanted to take a second to show you. So back in the 1800s, steamboats would come up the river, unload all their goods here. And if it was going up into the mainland, up into Indiana, and also up near Indianapolis and that, there was a the main line on the railroad. This was just a spur. But what they would do is they would come down here, park the steamboats, load everything on a rail that was going up north and uh, and to the west from here. And but here's the thing about um, this area is there is a huge hill up here. And so back in the 1800s, the steam locomotives were not powerful enough and not heavy enough to pull the cars over the hill. So they went through several different things. There were several railways went broke trying to overcome this problem. So uh, first what they would do is they would just load one car at a time and drag it up the hill and hook it onto a main train up there. Then later on to solve this problem, they built a cogged railway system here. It worked out pretty good. They had a, an engine that they could pull up there and the cogs would help it move. Um, so then a gentleman came along and tried to drill a tunnel through the side of the hill there and uh, they went broke too. So if you go up to Clifty Falls State Park, you can see the tunnel, it's about six foot in height. They never got it finished. So anyway, that brings us to, they built a huge steam locomotive, one that was heavy enough to pull the, hill, the cars over the hill. And uh, the funny thing about that, that steam locomotive is it was this was its only job it did not go anyplace else but Madison Indiana it would hook onto those cars and pull them over the hill and then a smaller locomotive would pick up and take them from there so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna drive over to the incline and uh, this is the last thing we're doing today I want to drive over there and and uh, I want to show you where the incline begins here in Madison well, this is the beginning of this incline. I took you down there by the river and I showed you where it begins. Makes a good hard turn and then starts up this hill. So I've got Nancy and Herky have joined us and we're gonna hike all the way to the top of this mountain. Uh, that would be a no. <laughs> we'll be down here, Dad, and wait for you. Okay, yeah, I knew that was the response <laughs> I was gonna get. So as you can see, it begins a nice steep incline and I can't think of a better way to end our day here than just uh, looking at uh, this railway so I think so what'd you, what'd you think about Madison I love Madison Indiana we need to come back I think it's my favorite small town so far I have I, I said that before yeah, though you say that on every I small think town. so but this one is very amazing and you need to come and see it I feel like we just just flew through our tour here uh, it was just a snippet just, just to give you a little sample of what you can see in Madison, Indiana. We loved it. So now it's time to walk this dog. He is wound up. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you.